Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. Now happening today, the U.S. Department of Justice is discussing an investigation into the state of Louisiana and the Louisiana State Police. Now, this meeting will be at the University of Louisiana Monroe Library on the seventh floor. The meeting is set to begin at 7 p.m. The investigation examines allegations of the use of excessive force and discriminatory policing by LSP. Residents will also be speaking out about their experience with state police. Tune in to NBC 10 tonight as our Nick Summer reports from that meeting. At the state capitol, the state House of Representatives advanced another anti-LGBTQ bill that would ban gender affirming care for minors. State Representative Gabe Freeman says the increased number of kids identifying as transgender is a social cognition, even though less than 1% identify as so. He says the bill would protect children, but other lawmakers say this care saves lives. And they need the care that these major medical organizations are saying they need, but you're saying they shouldn't get it. Puberty blockers and hormone treatments are really just as damaging and, and irreversible. Well, this, this bill is part of a larger culture debate going on across the country. The bill passed the House with overwhelming support and now heads to the Senate for debate. State legislature denied two more bills that aim to make clarifications to the state's strict abortion bill. The two bills wanting to put clarifications to those exemptions list for non-viable pregnancies. Doctors came to testify claiming that some are hesitant to perform life-saving care when a woman is faced with a spontaneous miscarriage or other dangerous conditions in the pregnancy. It was faced with fierce opposition from Louisiana Right to Life, who said the law is already clear, claiming it would open up the law to uh, elective abortion again. Now, both bills were voted down along party lines. Round two of applications for the Insure Louisiana Incentive Program has been put on hold pending additional funding. The Louisiana Department of Insurance predicts that about 10 million more dollars will be put into the fund. That was originally $3.15 million. The program offers grants to bring more insurance companies back to the state after several left following the losses they incurred during Hurricane Ida almost two years ago. The application process will restart once the funding has been secured. And time is running out to reserve your St. Jude home, uh, Dream Home tickets. We now have less than 1,000 tickets available, just a few. Here's an updated look at this year's Dream Home. It's a four bedroom built by Brakel Construction nearing completion in Frenchman's Bend, valued at $400,000 and will be given away on June 22nd. Tickets can be reserved by calling the number on your screen or by visiting dreamhome.org. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. It was mostly clear this morning, but as we progress into the afternoon, we could see a few spotty and isolated showers and thunderstorms lingering into our area. Not everyone will pick up on rain to be more of a hit or miss type situation. Our temperatures won't be as warm as it was yesterday. We'll see our daytime highs mainly in the lower 80s. We are still expecting a high of 82 degrees here in Monroe with spotty showers possible. Going to remain partly cloudy, but the rain chances stay relatively low around 30%. Winds will be mainly out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking into tonight, we'll see a low of 66 degrees be partly cloudy any leftover rain will be ending Wednesday mainly calm out of the north looking into tomorrow it's going to be a bit warmer with a high of about 87 degrees rain chances staying relatively low but we can't rule out the possibility of a stray shower Wednesday and calm and still out of the north looking at the seven day forecast we'll see a few more showers and thunderstorms as we progress and close out the week some of the storms going into late Friday into Saturday could potentially be strong we'll be keeping you informed with that then as we progress into next week we'll start to see some drier conditions we'll be getting really down to the lower 80s once again so it won't be as warm to kick off next week however that's not going to last long temperatures will be mainly in the mid 80s by Tuesday and our overnight lows will be mainly in the mid 60s then getting down to the lower 60s as we head into the early part of next week so overall won't be bad to kick off the early part of next week we just got to get through the remainder of this week with those showers and thunderstorms on Friday and Saturday 